Good afternoon, everyone. This is David Stevens. It's now 2.30. I want to give everyone an update. We have a winter weather advisory in effect for all of Siouxland. That's pretty much going until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. And looking at the latest radar out of Omaha, we are seeing uh, quite a bit of rain starting to develop to the south, mixing with freezing rain and to some snow moving in from the south. So over the next hour or two, it should be here in Sioux City, if not a little bit sooner because we have some development just to the west of Sioux City. And so folks in northeast Nebraska, you're starting to get some light snowflakes too. And we're getting some lightning being reported out through here as well. So there could be some thunder snow. And if you do get thunder snow, you could get some heavy snowfall, uh, brief heavy snowfall. And so we'll continue to, to watch the freezing rain, rain, and snow move into the area over the next few hours. Now take a look at some of our models. This model right here is one of our uh, rapid update models. This is a high resolution update here. And this is as of right now. You see that freezing rain mix over uh, eastern Nebraska. Now we're continuing to move into Sioux City this evening, so about six so o'clock. The mix should be right over Sioux City, and then the snow will be mixing more of snow. We'll be mixing in over northwest Iowa in the southeast South Dakota, and then over north central. Nebraska and that will continue to move into Sioux City and there will be some heavier snow in northwest Iowa so parts of northwest Iowa could get some heavier snowfalls about four to five inches in that area while here in Sioux City right now it still looks like one to two likely possibly up to three inches of snow possible in Sioux City this is looking at around midnight so mix of snow and freezing rain. Now, snowfall accumulations, of course, will be based on how much is snow versus how much is freezing rain mixing in. Right now, it could be about two inches here in Sioux City of snow and then about a tenth of an inch of ice when it's said and done. So the snow should be moved out of Sioux City. Uh, probably about two o'clock in the morning, it should be done with Sioux City and then the rest of Siouxland as we work our way early tomorrow morning. So let's look at the total snowfall here. This is a 10 to 1 ratio, which I think is pretty accurate. And zoom it up. So zooming in, you see parts of northwest Iowa, 4 to 5 inches, where it's showing us about 1 inch. I'll take a look at another model here. And if you're curious, this site is tropicaltidbits.com. They have some pretty good models as well. Now, this is the NAM model, and another one of our models we look at. So about three inches here for Sioux City, and then uh, three to six inches over parts of northwest Iowa. So I'll go ahead and take one more look at the radar here. And again, we'll see in the precipitation moving in mainly from the south, so we're going to keep an eye to the south. So if you're tracking this at home using weather scope, it's best to, you know, for right now, look at the Omaha site here and just track the, the rain developing over Omaha and move it into uh, that area, move more into, let's see if I can draw here, into Iowa, and then this area will continue to fill in and move into Sioux City, and there will be a mix of a mixed bag of precipitation. So, to wrap this all up, about one to two inches for Sioux City, heavier amounts to the northwest of Sioux City. And if you're looking for reliable information, uh, check out the National Weather Service website, weather.gov. That's one of your best sources, and of course, your local media outlets. You can always go to SiouxlandStormTrack.com, and I'll go ahead and take a look at that now. So this is Sioux, Siouxland Storm Track, so it'll come up Sioux City weather, and if there's any advisories, it'll pop up on the top, and you can click on that for more information. And of course, click on the X if you want to up, you know, go give you more information if you click on it. So I'll try to click the X, and... 
the front page will show uh, your National Weather Service information uh, as long, along with a text detail information. And then it's not really showing up right here, but any treats from the National Weather Service will be posted as well. And you can click on Maps on the menu, and you'll go to an interactive map that you can check the temperature, wind, and all that information. And if you're looking for your National Weather Service radar, you can click on radar. And this will pull up your National Weather Service radar information here. And then you can push play and, of course, zoom in and stuff like that and see the precipitation moving into the area. And if you want more information about Chile Storm Track, who we are, uh, here's a brief uh, introduction, and there will be a map with the county. So it's good to know where you're located at uh, for severe weather reasons mainly, and to see what your county looks like. So during severe weather on the TV, you can you can easily pick out your location on a map here. Uh, so anyway, that. That wraps it up, and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, and I will continue to keep an eye on this and give you the latest information, and have a wonderful day.